to differentiation of logarithmic functions. For this video, we're going to look at the review of logarithmic functions and the differentiation. So as a review, this is a graph of uh, y equals log e to the x or log of any base um, of x. It has the line x equals zero or the y-axis as a vertical asymptote. The function is one to one and the function is always increasing. These are the log rules that we've covered in a previous video. Um, so worth going back over. One of the new introductions is e to the log e of a or any base to the log of that same base just gives us the function that's there. So don't forget the change of base. Um, I've written it here as log base 10, um, but it could be log of any base. But if you're gonna use your calculator, make it base 10 or base E um, to do the change of base. So on the formula sheet, the function of y equals ln, so log base E of f of x, the derivative is that you put the function on the bottom and the f dash of x or the derivative of that on the top. Notice that the ln disappears. So when you differentiate ln or log base e, you put the function on the bottom and the derivative of that function on the top. So let's have a go at a couple of examples. So I'm going to keep the formula there. So given y equals ln of f of x, the derivative is f of x on the bottom, f dash of x on the top. And they're the five we're going to look at. So for the first one, ln of x. So notice that the function part in this case is the x. So remember, you put the function or the x on the bottom and you put its derivative on the top. So you put the function, which is the x part on the bottom and the derivative of x is one, goes on the top. So for the next one, we've got ln of x squared plus 3x. So the x squared plus 3x is the function part. That goes on the bottom and its derivative on the top. So you put the x squared plus 3x on the bottom. The derivative of that is 2x plus 3. It goes on the top. This one, x times ln x. So hopefully you can pick that this is actually a product rule. One function x times another function ln x. So you let u equal to x and v equal to ln x. u dash is one and v dash is one over x. Putting that into our um, product rule, we get x times one over x plus ln x times one. Simplify gets you one plus ln x. For this one, x over ln x. This is, should be a little bit easier because hopefully you can see this a quotient rule. So the top function divided by the bottom function. Once again, we let u equal to x, v equal to ln x. u dash is one, v dash is one on x. Putting it into our formula, you get ln x times one minus x times one over x, all over ln x squared. That gets you ln x minus one on the top and ln x all squared on the bottom. For the final one. Now this to do as it currently is would be quite tricky because you put the function on the bottom, which is one minus x over one plus x, and you put the derivative on the top, which means you'd have to use quotient rule. But this is where you need to remember your log rules. And one of the log rules is, is the log of the top one minus the log of the bottom one equals to the log of a division. So we're going to change this into the log of a subtraction or two logs subtracted. Now the log of the top one minus the log of the bottom one. This is a lot easier to differentiate and we'll differentiate them individually. So ln of one minus x, its function is one minus x. And ln of one plus x, its function is one plus x. So that gives us for the first one, one minus x on the bottom and minus one on the top. And for the second one, one plus x on the bottom and one on the top. Putting them as a uh, common denominator, that's what we actually get. And simplifying that, we get minus two over one minus x 
one plus six. A shout out to Amelia who uh, demonstrated uh, using PowerPoint um, and yeah, a great suggestion. Thank you.